what is happening? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. So today's a really fun video. I have had a few requests to review the brand Camo Fitness. When I asked you guys what brands you wanted to see, I saw this name pop up a few times. I was fairly familiar with them. I was following them on Instagram actually, and I always in the back of my head wanted to try them one day. So when I saw that you guys were actually interested in this brand's review, I had them queued up. And ironically enough, that same week that I added them into the list of brands to review, they reached out to me <laughs> and actually asked if I'd be interested in reviewing their brand new collection that's launching this Sunday, November 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is none other than their Back to Nature collection. Once I saw the whole brief and what it was about, I was sold on reviewing this collection. It's very exciting because it hasn't come out yet, so I thought it would offer a lot of value to you guys so that you know what you're looking at and maybe you'll see some pieces that interest you. So with that being said, a huge thank you to Camo Fitness for sponsoring today's video and sending out what is a really generous haul. I feel like there's like one of everything here. So in this collection, we're looking at two different styles. We have the Serenity, which has leggings, a sports bra, and shorts. These are coming in the colors Clear Sky, Sage Green, and Honey Gold, which I'm actually wearing right now, and um, I think it's safe to say it's my favorite color. So with this, there's going to be a mixture of prints and solids available. Then we also have a different style, which is called the Maya. This is gonna be coming in sports bra, leggings, and a short sleeve crop top. These are gonna be a little more on the darker side. These are coming in the colors Meteorite and Magical Forest. There's no prints with this one, just solids. So guys, before we hop into the try on, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We make weekly content on all types of activewear. So drop a comment with the brand you'd like to see next, or if you do hit that subscribe button, let me know so I can personally thank you. All right, so it is try on time, and we're gonna start with this baddie right here. I think so. All right guys, so we are starting with the Serenity leggings and sports bra in the honey gold print. So this print overall is, you know, a ferocious cheetah. I will never turn down cheetah print. <laughs> so the prints in this collection have an overall soft focus. It basically isn't too, too sharp looking. It has a really, almost like a brushed look to it. My first impression, now keep in mind, this is not a seamless set, but the first thing I noticed with the sports bra is there's a nice, decent support here. I would give it a moderate support overall. It is not very low cut but it's not a high cut either. It's right in the middle here. I really love the thick straps that are not digging in, thank goodness. Sometimes, as sexy as small straps are, believe me, sometimes after a long day, they dig in and they start getting a little itchy. <laughs> the backing is really sexy. You got a little crisscross action going back there. It is not adjustable, but it fits pretty true to size. My small is working perfectly. You do have removable bra pads though, which is always a plus. The thick band right here, like this is a thicky, really nice. You got that elastic band. So you have the extra support right under the girls. The one thing I do notice though, however, I got massive side boob problems. Like for some reason, my boobies, the mass <laughs> is right here. And then it's, there's just nothing right here. So in this case, the sports bra, I can almost feel a little bit of side boob ever so slightly. It can be sexy or it can be uncomfortable depending on what you're doing. <laughs> now granted, I don't think I'm gonna slip out of this. It is nice and supportive, but keep that in mind if you got a lot of side boob like myself. This is more or less the type of bra that I would do low key things in. Nothing crazy, nothing that requires me to do flips. But at the same time, I kind of like that there's a little bit of let up here so that it's not pinching in on the sides and giving me that annoying bra bulge. So believe me, there's a pro and con to everything. Moving on to the leggings, first and foremost, thank you Camel Fitness for not creating a front seam. I'm not gonna lie, once I saw how cute the prints were, I got really excited, but I did see it was not a seamless collection, so I knew there was potential of there being a front seam, but thank God there was not, therefore no dreaded CT going on right here, in fact, this is really good. Even for almost a yoga based feeling legging, nothing's riding up. Nothing's just grabbing at places that I don't really prefer being grabbed at. So yeah, man, nice and smooth here. A very smooth yogi based kind of set. You do have really flattering V seams here, which you know when it comes to a seamed legging, I always opt out for a V seam. I think that a V seam on leggings is just so flattering because it really accentuates 
The top of the glutes making them really nice and bold and big looking. The length on these is beautiful. I didn't have to really shimmy up or do anything crazy. Really nice length. I believe it's 25 inch inseam, so that's my comfortable length. There's no gaping around the band area, which is nice, but something I do notice, especially well, with the prints, I haven't tried the solids on yet, but with this print, I notice when I'm in a really deep, mean squat, right around the bum area where the material stretches, ever so slightly, I'm seeing it fade a bit. But then again, that is super natural when it comes to printed leggings. Even though I can see the material fade right around here ever so slightly, I am not seeing anything through the legging, which is a plus. I can really feel the durability in these leggings, especially the sports bra actually. Like this feels nice, thicky, like it ain't going anywhere. It's here to stay forever. But it really does feel like there's a nice happy medium between being a thick, durable legging and being lightweight enough to be very comfortable, that you can move in, do stretches, do splits in. The overall material is very soft, but it's not that slippery type of feel. So this is not the kind of legging I have to worry about it making its way down during a workout. I do feel like this is gonna stay really put. I'm not feeling any shifting of any kind. And honestly, with this type of durability, the price point is there. I don't know if you guys noticed but they're really freaking affordable pieces. I believe the bottoms are $34 and the top is $24. So, uh, damn. And I don't know if it's just me. I have searched far and wide around this entire set and the other ones, and I'm not seeing any branding. Is that, uh, is that right? <laughs> I don't see any Camel Fitness logos. What I find really cool about these collections is that they are perfect mix and match pieces. There are solids to go with every single animal print. So if you're somebody who doesn't like too much animal print and you want a little bit of solid action or vice versa, you can always mix and match within the collection. Ooh, so I thought I really loved animal print, but this solid looks really fresh. So now I'm gonna touch base real quick on the solid Serenity pieces. So same thing like you just saw in the animal print, but just the solids. This one's in the sage green color. It's very, very light. I purposely wanted to try this color because I wanted to test squat proof. This is in fact the lightest color in the entire collection. It seems super squat proof and I was shook because this is so light that in certain lightings, it looks like it could be white. So totally, if you're somebody who prefers more of solid pieces over prints, hit up the solid pieces they offer or do a nice little fun mix and match. I did wanna make mention in case you're somebody who really prefers tummy control, there's not a whole lot of tummy control in the band here. It's not a thick ribbed band or anything like that. It's again, more of a yogi based type of band here. Very, very stretchy but yet nice and form fitting, like second skin. I personally think, especially with the more lower moderate compression, makes the booty look pretty, pretty plump. I feel like so far, especially with these Serenity pieces, you could definitely keep your true size, but if you are in between sizes, I would probably suggest sizing down if anything. I do feel like I could ever so slightly have a bit of room left here. So if I was in between, I would totally size right on down. Also, I do wanna throw this out there. I know I touch base on cellulite in all of my reviews, which is obviously perfectly freaking normal. If cellulite is something you're looking to conceal, I would suggest going for a printed legging. I do feel like with this lower compression, in certain lighting, certain angles, you can see a little bit of that cellulite going on. It's not insane, but I thought I would cover that just in case that is a part of what you look for in a legging. I was so pleased when I put these shorts on for a few reasons. Number one, they are not overly long where it kind of makes me look real short, but they're not short shorts where it's like, oh God, I don't want to be around my parents wearing them. That kind of short. And the other thing that I'm super pleased about, you already guessed it if you watch my channel, there's no quad muffin. There's no sausaging right around here. Like look at, there's so much let up. It's a really nice smooth fit, honestly. This is where I would not size down or up at all. I feel like these are just the perfect fit. So the same deal with this color print as the honey gold. When I'm in a deep squat right around that middle area of my bum, I think you know where I'm talking about. The pattern does fade ever so slightly, just like the other color. 
um, not a ridiculous amount at all and from far away it probably wouldn't even be noticeable at all but other than that I'm not seeing any fades around the quads with the leggings or the shorts there's no fading right around this area which is good there's no fading when I'm standing up either so even just staying still zero fade it's only when I'm in a real low squat where the materials really spread out the most no roll up at all I didn't expect for it to roll up because it's a good length it's not overly short but at the same time I wanted to test it because it is more of a yogi base so you just never know with that kind of material whether it's going to snap or roll up on you but it's really good in that department too overall a really solid pair of shorts absolutely all right guys moving on to the Maya set this is in the color meteorite so pretty much a solid black color this sports bra is way way different you have a little bit of cleavage almost like a real low cut v-neck but then there's a patch that lays over so it's just a little bit of a peekaboo keyhole i think it's really cute like this is a style i'm not used to seeing at all anywhere you do actually have seams that run up right here so in certain lighting you can see it almost looks like it's a chilly day if you know what i mean me personally i could totally do without these i'm not a huge fan it does look like i have rock hard nips right now <laughs> so bottom line not a huge fan of the seam here but i do think that the overlying patch of material here is really cool i still love the thick straps again not adjustable but very very comfortable of a bra there's no doubt about that there's no pinching there's no digging and there's no riding up when I move around. The backing is super straightforward as a racer back. You still have that really thick elastic supportive band underneath though, which I really do like. It's just that extra little bit of security to make sure your girls don't fall out of place. You still have removable bra pads and a moderate support. So if you prefer more of the intricate look, a little layering action, a little cleavage, then maybe opt out for the Maya sports bra. Again, it's mostly just dark colors that you have to choose from. Me personally, I'm sticking with the Serenity. It's just this region right here. That's all, that's what did it for me. But the leggings, however, are awesome. It's the same type of fit as the Serenity. The biggest difference with these, I'm noticing a lot more seams. So there was very minimal flat lying seams on the Serenity. And these are still flat lying, so they lay right up against the skin. But what I do notice is that there's a ton more contoured seams that crisscross down the leg all the way down, whereas the Serenity did not have that. Still have the really complimentary V seams, and the inseam is still the same. So a lot of similarities, but the minor differences are worth noting. With that being said, because there are more seams, I do feel them underneath, whereas I felt nothing with the Serenity. The Maya I can feel, especially when I'm squatting, I do feel a little bit of seams. So if that's going to bother you and you just want a really, just a comfortable fit like you're not wearing anything, I would opt out for the Serenity. So in terms of squat proof, it seems pretty squat proof on me. If you're a fan of staple black leggings, do keep in mind that the these two prints actually go perfectly with the black Maya leggings because you have actual black in these two prints. So this is actually a really cute look. So you can mix within the two lines in this range. Okay, nice active crop. Oh yeah, the stretch is there. I really love a zipped crop, man. Nothing worse than dolling yourself up for the gym. Okay, no shame in that game and shoving your head through a tight hole, getting your makeup all over the collar. Nobody likes that, so I do appreciate a nice zip. This is more just a little quarter half zip. No tightness on the sleeves, thank freaking God. Because I mean, I feel like you gotta be careful with that, especially with tighter active crops. It could sausage your arms too, just like shorts can sausage your legs. Really nice length. It does cover the rib cage on me with my short torso. So there's no seam on the actual crop top, but you do see the Maya bra little seam points underneath. It does, it does show through. But yeah, it's really staying put even when moving my arms around a lot. So this is actually a really good durable crop top to have. All right guys, so that concludes my full camo fitness review and try on. Hope you guys found this helpful. Keep in mind these pieces do launch this Sunday, November 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My overall thoughts, 
Overall, I do feel like Camel Fitness is super underrated and honestly, they deserve a little more attention. I do notice them growing and gaining traction. I've been hearing more and more about this brand lately, so I do feel like, and especially after trying on these pieces, that they have a really big future in this industry. I think it goes without saying that the Serenity sets do have my vote over the Maya if I chose between the two. I think all the colors in this entire range are beautiful. I have to say they did a really good job on the color palette. So definitely drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Huge thank you to Camo Fitness for sending these pieces out for me to review and for sponsoring today's video. And an even bigger thank you to you guys for watching. Hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more activewear reviews every single week. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.